I'm here at the studio of Dan Schroeder in West Sand Lake. Now he said when I get here to head on into the woods, so follow me. I am a painter, mostly a plain air painter, meaning I paint outside. There's this whole world going on in the yard that is sort of alien to people. You know, we, we're aware of it on one sense, but when you really get down and, you know, sit in the grass and observe it up close, uh, there's just this alien world and the, the subjects are everywhere. You know, there's a lifetimes of work in just this yard alone. This current body of work that I've been working on um, all started in 2020 during the pandemic, of course. I had actually just moved from Brooklyn, sort of fleeing the pandemic. And um, it was kind of lucky in a way because I really wanted to get out of the city and work from observation from nature. Um, and it was, in a way, the perfect opportunity just to be isolated in the woods, um, try to make the best of it. Before I would concentrate on um, the natural aspects within the city and within Brooklyn um, and, you know, against this man-made backdrop, but i really been just longing to get back into the woods. The light changing can drastically change how you see things, so sometimes I'll be walking through the woods and I'll pass the same subject a hundred times and then one time I see it in the right light and I think, oh, that, that's a painting. But after that, it's pretty straightforward. There's really no mechanical intervention, and by that I mean no photography or anything, just the paint and brush onto the canvas, and that's, that's the way I like it. To really be able to feel the texture of the leaves and the trees and to get that sense of tactility um, that's, you know, it's, it's vital that I'm there in person. Even though the weather is always changing and the light is always changing, the paintings become more a synthesis of looking at something over a period of many hours or days even, instead of one snapshot of it. I started doing these paintings of this pond um, and I did quite a number of them and I, I was most interested on these, in these little ripples that would come across the surface when a, uh, a fish would come up to feed or a raindrop would hit the surface. And they proved extremely challenging because water is such a fluid, obviously, thing that, you know, it, it's just changing constantly and the uh, reflections of the plants are always changing and the sun is always changing the quality of it. But I did enjoy trying to capture that. I'm definitely drawn to painting um, old gnarled trees. You know, they're just so charismatic in themselves, uh, but also a good subject for you know, understanding how time and how the elements have shaped these trees into these, you know, pretty much ready-made sculptures. So the thing I'm always thinking about is uh, time and how time is observed in the natural world. And this can range from, you know, the split second, like a ripple across the water or things that are, can be observed that have taken, you know, hundreds, thousands, even millions of years, like the geology. And I am really interested in 
how you can go out and see traces of this, you know, long scale geologic time. In a way, the pandemic gave me an excuse to embrace being isolated, which was, I, everyone deals with things differently, but I got some benefit out of that. And also just watching these natural processes take place in nature and realizing that things are cyclical and there's always decay on the forest floor, but there's always new life sprouting out of it. And there's always just an unimaginable amount of intricate life going on in that. It's good to know that these things are going on, you know, around us, no matter what's going on in the human world.